Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over how I modified my Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, in today's episode we're going to be going over my Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe. Yes, by Cold Steel. Um, it does not come like this, far, far, far from it. Uh, as a quick little peep, I'm going to show you a quick reference shot of what they look like side by side from the one you get in the box to how this one looks. By the picture, you can tell that it has been completely overhauled, vastly improved upon, and revamped entirely. Oh, look at the edge. Oh, it just looks absolutely amazing. Now, what did I do to it? Well, it has been reheat treated. It, the coating has been completely stripped. It has been blackened. It actually has been fitted with a absolute brand new handle. And that handle has been torched. It has been stained. And then it has been treated with boiled linseed oil. And then I slightly reprofiled the edge and put a nice polish on that edge so it can have a nice contrast to the head of the axe, and I just think that looks absolutely beautiful. Just looks amazing. Now, I will go over um, some of the modding with you. I am not gonna lie, I actually got the idea after I was already into some of the modding process, so I don't have all the footage. I'm sorry. Um, I was, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you, oh, I had data corruption during filming. No, I literally actually forgot. And I apologize. But um, it was the torching process, not a really huge deal in the grand scheme of things with the new handle. But I'll be going over the staining and other things that I did. Plus, I'll be kind of showcasing in a very fast way some of the reprofiling of the edge. And then we are going to go outside and do some fun chopping with it. So, stay tuned. I'm at a friend's house. We got this palm tree, so I'm going to take just one or two wax with it, and then we're going to see how the out-of-the-box sharpness that you get it from the company is initially. So, as you guys can see, I'm sorry my lighting's a little bad. It bit in really, really, really nicely. I'm really happy with that. So, out of the box, that utilitarian edge is nothing to scoff at. The initial chop did very, very well. Now, I'm at my friend's house on Labor Day. This is not real testing. This is just getting some out-of-the-box things out of the way. So, what I'm going to do is, since it has a nice big horn on it, is I'm going to drive in and see what that does. So, as you guys can see, that uh, the horn, the tip on that axe, went in really, really deep, and I'll go ahead and mark it. So it went in good inch. I mean, for just a simple thrust, apparently I have good aim. <laughs> Goes right back in, and I mean, it stabs in really hard, really deep. I mean, I have nothing but love for this ax. I mean, that thing just, I mean, the cold steel Viking hand axe just bites the freak in, man. I love this thing. It's fully blackened. Looks really, really good. Works like a charm.
now that the wood stain is dry, I'm going to take my shop towel. That's all I got. And I'm going to rub all this excess, excess off. You can see that right there. It's not a lot. A lot of this is absorbed into the wood very nicely. And if I have a slightly uneven coat, I'm kind of okay with it. I don't see any big nasty glops or anything unsightly that I don't like. I think it came out really nice. I'm happy with it. Sorry, it came out of the camera. But yeah. Now we're gonna let it dry overnight. It says eight hours, but it's like midnight for the time we're filming this. So I'll come back in the morning, and then I'm gonna start sealing it and protecting it with boiled linseed oil. So I'm awake, <laughs> and I'm gonna. This is completely dried. I want you guys take a look at this and bump the camera. But I really like the look of this so far. And for those of you who didn't catch it the first time, the stain that I used was red mahogany. I like the way that wood looks, especially with the um, little dabbles of firework that I put into it. I think it works really well and it provides a really nice stark contrast to the head. Uh, I'm not going to leave the head like this, I'm actually going to uh, customize it and I'm going to strip the coating off. But I may do that a later date because I like the fact that they finally didn't put a black coating on there. Really 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 made me happy the fact that I didn't have to strip that crappy nasty black coating off anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and coat this and then we're going to let it dry. Now I know a few of you will be asking, well why are you putting boiled linseed oil on a finished handle? Because stain is a wood finish. And typically with linseed oil you're supposed to do it to an unfinished handle. However, this is why. The red mahogany as it stands is a really nice stain and I like the way it looks. I think it looks really, really sharp. But typically even with a, coat a single coating Red mahogany is a very stark, drastic concept, uh, like a stain, it's a very stark stain. So what I'm doing is lightly applying a little bit of the linseed oil. You can see some of the stain is coming off. Not a lot though, I don't want a lot of it to come off, but I wanted to give it more of a natural, unstained finish look. And it's hard for you guys maybe to perceive it on camera, but what that'll do is kind of lighten the stain, um, take a little bit off of it off the surface and give it a slightly uneven texture, still a nice light gentle shade of red mahogany without being too overwhelming or too overly powerful and that's why I'm doing it. So in case you guys had some questions, that's what I'm up to. So now that I have the linseed oil and I have a shade of the handle that I really, really like, I'm going to let it sit there for about five minutes. It says five to ten minutes. And then I'm going to remove any excess that I've got with my shop towel. So we got our five minutes. We're good to go. Now a little bit more of this oil will come off, or some of the uh, stain, I mean. My apologies. And that's okay. 
That's why I'm not being too harsh with my as I'm wiping because I like that reddish kind of hue it works with the burned rustic kind of vibe it just flows really well I think it's a nice rich color still and it's something I'm really really happy with Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much fun as I had actually modding that. Um, it was an absolute true joy to just work with my hands and have some fun. I haven't been able to really get out into my knife shop and start messing with knives and blades in a long time. So this was one of the first things I got to do in a very long time. It was very relaxing, very enjoyable process for me. With most of you that are watching that follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook, a lot of you guys have been commenting on all the photos and with all the work I was doing with it and like, oh, that looks amazing, that looks nice. Well, for anyone in this video, and this is going to be a cheesy plug and you're going to have to forgive me for that, if you want one just like this, I have actually a link down in the description box below to my Etsy page where you can get a completely overhauled, revamped, reheat treated and just completely amazing Viking hand axe all on your own. Um, takes me about a, about two to three weeks to get it finished from the date you purchased it to the shipping, but uh, the link for that will be in the description box below. But other than that, uh, I thank you guys in advance for liking this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all of the modding and the footage that I provided you guys. And I want to say thank you to everyone who actually shares this video out to show people um, how much fun I'm having modding the tools, and I hope you guys enjoyed that so much that you were willing to share that for me. And definitely subscribe to this page for a lot more testing that I'm going to be doing with this uh, Viking hat axe and a lot of other Viking-inspired time period um, weapons and tools upcoming here very, very soon. With that said, hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. I'm out.